Welcome enlightened viewers to Science and Spirituality. This week our guest is Macedonian psionic or psychic researcher Pane Andov. Throughout his life Mr. Andov, a vegetarian, has had numerous extraordinary encounters with extraterrestrials and unidentified flying objects or UFOs which he has shared with us in previous programs. Crop circles are wonderfully arranged, impressive geometric forms that mysteriously appear in farmers' fields overnight. Many believe these magnificent creations are messages from otherworldly beings. In this two-part series, Mr. Andov will shed light on the meaning of various crop circle designs and discuss the enormous changes he says our planet and humanity will experience at the end of 2012 and beyond. I would like to share our amazing information what is going to happen in near future about 2012 and 2013 event. I would like to offer people the uh, information that was uh, passed to me by the extraterrestrials that are willing to, to help. If you get the latest uh, uh, update from the Fermi uh, Gamma Ray uh, Space Telescope, uh, a cosmic jet was actually uh, recorded in the Milky Way galaxy, which is 25,000 light years uh, in every direction from the, from the galactic plane. So in uh, crop circles like this, you see a source of energy that is spreading towards the edges then this energy is extremely fast it's massive and it's and it's coming and it's almost at uh, near us this is the picture of the Milky Way galaxy and uh, when it comes it's going to hit the Sun and produce uh, something that is called uh, a red giant face this wave of energy is a uh, few million degrees uh, Celsius and is highly magnetic and the surface of the Sun is only 6,000 degrees Celsius if something that is millions of degrees Celsius touches a surface of a plasma that is only 6,000 degrees Celsius it would be enough of the star to spend all its fuel and to move from its main sequence into what is known as red giant phase like in this crop circle the Sun radiates heat by converting hydrogen within its core into helium in a process known as nuclear fusion. The Sun's characteristics are just right for enabling life on Earth to flourish and be sustained. Once the hydrogen at the Sun's core becomes depleted, a process that normally takes 5 billion years, the core begins to contract. The star then collapses and releases gravitational energy into its surrounding outer layer, causing it to expand and transforming it into a red giant. When the red giant phase ends, the Sun will become a smaller, cooler star which is known as a white dwarf. Mr. Andov has determined from analyzing the crop circles that after the energy wave arrives, the Sun's white dwarf phase will be reached within months. This is the close up of the crop circle that was delivered and the red giant phase. This is, in my perspective, one of the most important crop circles that were delivered. It appeared on July 15, 2008, on our reminder in the United Kingdom. It's the depiction of our solar system with all the planets and uh, with only slight deviation. Pluto is not, is not um, the same. As it is possible to calculate the position of all the planets in the solar system on a specific future date, the alignment of the planets in the UK crop circle match what their position should be on December the 23rd, 2012. There was another depiction, another warning, which actually took place on 29th of March 2011 when we experienced uh, this uh, amazing display above uh, the sky of New Zealand. When uh, people started to analyze those stars, they were matching exactly the same, December 23rd, 2012. This crop circle, uh, the dragonfly is symbolizing the extreme changes and the phoenix, which is extremely important, is a mythological bird that leaves a very life uh, uh, a very long lifespan and when it recognized that uh, its life is coming to an end it puts a fire into the nest and it uh, burns to, to, to ashes so from those ashes a new small phoenix is reborn that's a symbol that the sun is going to be reborn soon so it's all a symbolic depiction so red giant face is it scientifically uh, possible what are the consequences for the planets when the sun becomes a red giant is going to do a, a, a slow expansion 
which will begin on December 23, 2012, and it will culminate on 28th of March 2013. The sun here is expanded and it had swallow uh, Mercury and, and Venus uh, completely. That leaves Earth and Mars uh, very, very dangerously close to, to the sun. The energy emanating from the center of the galaxy will not just transform the sun. Panayandov says it will make contact with the rest of the solar system as well. This energy, as it's spreading towards the edges of the galaxy, it will also pass through all the planets, including Earth. So just for comparison, the hottest layer of our atmosphere is thermosphere. It's uh, around 1,500 degrees Celsius. Most of the time it's less than 1,500 uh, degrees Celsius. So what happens when a cloud, which is highly, highly magnetic, and millions of degrees uh, Celsius hot, touches with the atmosphere of, of a planet which is only let's say 1500 degrees Celsius hot it's just going to deplete the whole atmosphere so there are plenty of changes on the 3D level that we need to be aware of Mr. Andoff has learned that our Sun has a companion or twin star located on the outer edge of the solar system the Sun becoming a white dwarf will enormously change the relationship between these two stars I will just need to mention this. The other celestial object spotted on the skies is actually a twin star orbiting around our star. And this energy that is approaching will hit that star also. And when it's going to hit that star, it's going to move towards the white dwarf. What we have seen in the astronomy, two white dwarfs are attracted by each other gravitationally. They start to rotate around each other, eventually they collide. And when those two will collide, they will produce a bigger star, which to produce enough uh, light and heat that will provide the conditions for life again. So what I'm trying uh, to say with this is that uh, this white dwarf alone is not capable of producing the same amount of light as we are receiving today, which means is not capable to produce the same amount of, of heat that we need to survive on the surface. Mr. Randolph believes that the energy wave heading towards Earth need not lead to disaster. Rather, we can take steps now to protect our planet. But this energy that is approaching can be shielded and the crop circles are leading us towards the conclusion and to the answer how we can do this. The data that arrived through the crop circles, uh, plenty of information was uh, uh, about the fractal geometry. And uh, people realized that they are referring to fractals. But in reality, uh, they are referring that uh, this universe we live in is, in, is uh, a fractal universe and we can influence it. Anne Andov says that although the recognition of fractals is correct, most don't understand that the data is saying that we live in a fractal universe and we can influence or change the universe. If you recall the research of Dr. Amoto about the water molecules, the humans are able to change the crystalline structure turn into something a magnificence, we have uh, the ability to influence uh, one of the elements, water. But that's not uh, where, where uh, it stops. We have the ability to influence the fractal uh, momentum or, or structure of the rest of the, of the elements that are present on Earth. So that's the first momentum that, that we need to understand, that we have the capability, the power in us that is dormant, that if united it can produce a change to the matrix. So how, how can we do that? By combining energy. And the only known tool to me is meditation. Massive group global meditation, where millions of people can unite into one meditative oneness and they can impact the, the, the fundamental structure of, of Earth. 
In addition to meditation, like Pene Andov, many across the globe are calling on humanity to immediately end our destructive habits, including the slaughter of our fellow beings for food, so that we can preserve our world for future generations. People need to change. First thing is they need to realize that this world is uh, is uh, is a world that we sharing with other species and we have no right to to kill anything the the first momentum is that people become vegetarians because every time when they consume uh, meat or fish there is something definitely wrong going on i will explain in this fashion uh, let's say if a patient that goes to heart transplantation before that he or she was not uh, skilled into playing piano, violin or some other musical instrument and after that heart transplantation and the patient had recovered uh, that same patient start to express fundamental uh, 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 skills and, and ability to play piano or, or, or uh, violin uh, which was impossible in the, in the past what took place is simply uh, like in computers you put new hardware in and if you have the necessary drivers the processor will recognize the new hardware and it will make it functional in this same particular case that previous uh, host that was hosting that heart was extremely skilled in playing violin or, or piano and that same knowledge was passed to the new owner the brain had decoded through the DNA so imagine when a people consume meat that animal before it was killed had suffered a trauma a stress uh, a, a terror which uh, uh, is w was condensated into into the structure and when we consume that stuff into into our bodies we actually inherit the same emotion the same energies and it produces a dna virus and this dna virus further goes to diseases and completely uh, lowers the vibration so it's lowering uh, our vibrational field and without uh, uh, a proper vibrational field we cannot tune into this meditative oneness that we are talking about and what is more even 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 important that we don't need to kill animals or fish because we are light beings and we can exist on 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 vegetables even on prana if some people go towards that path thank you pane andov for sharing with us the valuable knowledge you have gathered from extraterrestrial sources regarding our universe your message of hope, which asks humanity to quickly embrace vegetarianism and practice group meditation to safeguard our wonderful planetary home, is a beautiful one. For more details on Mr. Andov, please visit www.paneandov.com. DVDs and ebooks by Mr. Andov are available on the same website. Please join us again next Monday on Science and Spirituality as we continue our interview with Pane Andov about Earth's future and the workings of the cosmos. Thank you, perceptive viewers, for your company today on Science and Spirituality. Words of Wisdom is coming up next after Noteworthy News. May we forever treasure the world in which we live. For more details please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ss.